Hey everyone, Miss Monkey 88 here. Normally, I only put out two videos a month as the guarantee, but when I am in an inspired mood, I can put out an indeterminate amount more, which is what happened here. I found a picture on Pinterest and my muse exploded and the script just flowed effortlessly the moment my hands hit the keyboard. If you're a writer, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so I hope you like this and you'll remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's get started, huh? Who in the blazes do you think you are, new girl? You think you can just waltz on in and steal the lead role in the Academy play from me? The role of Christine Day was supposed to be in the bag for me. What? How dare you? Teach you not to disrespect me. Hey! Oh, oh. Hayden Ring. The reason the new girl secured the role in the play was because she has talent. She deserves the role. Unlike you, Miss Decker. Did you think I wouldn't find out? that you try to have your daddy bribe the Academy Theatre Director to just hand the role to you. <laughs> My family blocked the bribes and made it clear that anyone that tried to accept any future bribes from your father would find themselves without a job. Did you really think, Miss Deckard, that I wouldn't sniff out your schemes? Do I not always? No. The next time I find you about to attempt assaulting another student, I will pull every string I have in my arsenal to see you expelled. But, Hayden! That is rain to sludge like you. Do not use my first name as if we were on friendly terms. Now get out of my sight. I can't stand to look at you anymore. You want something? Try earning it on your own merits, as our newcomer has. Now go! You will regret this, newcomer. <laughs> what an obnoxious, shrieking harpy, that one. Uh, no doubt it is only because of her family money and yearly contributions to the Academy that she was permitted to walk these prestigious halls. You, on the other hand, if my information network is reliable. You are attending Nightingale Academy on scholarship, yes? I heard all about that. After graduating from your public high school, your performing arts teacher and your principal recommended you for the scholarship based upon your talent and history of Good hard work. I apologize you had to deal with filth like Charlotte Deckard. Arrogant wenches that think just because they come from old money that they are better than everyone else and can do whatever they please. I am sure you could have handled her fine on your own. But that behavior is not new for Charlotte. I'd like to make it quite clear to her that I won't tolerate it.
Who am I to be of such high authority over other students? Well, you certainly didn't do your research about the Academy, did you? I am Hayden Rain. My father is the Dean, and I am the student body president. You look surprised. Did you expect the student body president to be some elegant, golden-haired, Prince Charming, riding a white horse-looking type fellow? Sorry to disappoint you. My area of study. I am an artist. You'll see a great many of my pieces adorning the halls of the Academy. The forest landscape piece in the cafeteria? Yes, that is one of mine. That one is your favorite so far, you say? <laughs> Serene and enchanting, like a fairy sanctuary. Thank you. That is very kind praise. I rather like the description. Hmm? Lost. Oh, I see. You were on your way back to your dorm room after auditions, and you got lost. Silly girl, did you not think to take along the map you were given with the rest of your school information? My word. Very well, then. Take my arm, and I shall guide you towards the girls' dormitory wing myself. Come along now. Take my arm, and we'll be off. It's not polite to keep someone waiting. Was that... Was that your stomach growling? Did you even eat lunch today? Too nervous about auditions to eat anything, hmm? Well, obviously... Your worries were groundless as you nailed the audition and secured the role. My goodness, it is just one thing after another with you, isn't it? Change of plans. We will be visiting the cafeteria first and getting you something to eat. Then I will escort you back to the dormitory wing, provided you can even remember your room number. Dare I ask if you have your key in your possession? Good. Then at least you were not entirely hopeless. Come along, then. What kind of student body president would I be if I allowed our newest student to forget to nourish herself and wind up in the nurse's office from fainting of hunger? I run a tight ship around here, you know. I won't tolerate anyone neglecting their health. Sandwiches. You brought sandwiches on the train. Oh, my dear girl, goodness, no. Those sandwiches have been sitting around for how long since your arrival this morning? No, I think not. We'll get you something fresh and hot. My treat. Now, do not give another moment of grief. Just come along and do as I say. No more arguments. I beg your pardon. Handsome, but rough around the edges, am I? And just what, exactly, is that supposed to mean? So you think that I am very attractive, but I can be a bit harsh-tongued? Well, I suppose that isn't entirely inaccurate, but I am who I am, and I like myself. 
I make no apologies and intend to change myself for no one. Not even a very pretty songstress like you. Blushing now, are we? I didn't think it was any secret that you are quite lovely. Or perhaps it is the source of the compliment that causes you to blush. You did say you think me handsome. Tell me, do you fancy me then? Tell me the truth. I know I'm not the only one to have felt the sparks between us. What's wrong? Never been put up against a wall before. Look at that blush. Does the way my body feels pressed against yours excite you? Don't play dumb with me. Look me in the eyes and tell me that you don't feel it too. There is no mistaking it. The crackling, burning sizzle in the air. You feel it too, huh? Good. Then from now on, outside of acting for the theater club, I don't want to see you getting cozy with any other men. Well, we explore whatever this intoxicating thing is between us. You were my girl. Got that? I hope I won't have to remind you. You haven't seen how truly harsh I can actually be with those that ask for it. <laughs> that growling stomach again. Well then, best get you something to eat now, hmm? Wouldn't want you to think I am some kind of neglectful boyfriend. And just think, as my girlfriend, any of the fools in this school that might have entertained the idea of bullying you, they won't dare now. They know the damage I can do to every aspect of their lives if they force me to. Now come along. I need to take good care of my girl. Okay, I hope everyone liked that. Um, this is intended to be a one-shot. It's highly unlikely that I will be making this into a series. Heaven knows I already have my hands full with active series at the moment. Um, anyway, folks who are new to the channel, if you would like to communicate more with myself, or even other members of the monkey community, you can find the link to my Discord in the description. Everyone will be thrilled to meet you and hang out and just have fun. Um, you will also find a couple pieces of some pretty cute merchandise. I actually made the monkey logo myself. Not too bad for someone that isn't usually an artist. Anyway, you should check those out in the Discord. If you would like to help support me, aside from merch, you could possibly toss a couple of coins into the yield PayPal tip jar. Uh, the link to that is also in my description. However, if you do not have the monetary means to offer support, never you worry. Just by sitting through an ad or two is also a great way to support me. And I honestly find it to be very sweet and generous because you are sitting through a boring ad and not getting anything for it. You know, and the fact that you're willing to do that for me, 
I'm very grateful, truly. It means a lot to me that you guys are willing to do that for me. You guys are just, you're amazing and wonderful, and I love you. Let's see. Um, on January 24th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, you can join me and Rithbane for a hangout live stream for my birthday. We will play some very chill Stardew Valley and talk with some of you amazing viewers. It will last probably an hour and a half to maybe two hours. We'll see what kind of time is available to Rithbane and I on my birthday. Who knows? If it's in the cards, it could very well be longer than two hours. We'll have to see. Uh, I think that concludes anything relevant to talk with you about. So with that, my monkeys, I shower you with my love and bid you farewell for now. Please stay safe out there in this crazy world, and I will see you in the next video, okay? Bye!